Hello, good evening, everyone. Bit a welcome to the next unit of macroeconomics, in which we are going to go ahead and study the different microeconomic foundations. It means we are going to study consumption separately, investment separately, demand of money and demand of supply separately, etc. Right now, um, you know, when we talk about this chapter, this is one of the most difficult chapter in uh, your macroeconomics huh it, it's it's a good good chapter very detailed chapter so we are going to go ahead and start by understanding the consumption and consumer behavior first and the reading for this chapter this is going to be branson right hmm. okay so to begin with, try and understand that when we talk about consumption function, one of the basic assumptions of consumption function is that consumption is a function of disposable income. This is the basic assumption hai, that consumption is a function of disposable income. But what is disposable income? Disposable income is income at disposal. Income and disposal means disposable income is nothing but it is income minus taxes. So, so I can write, <coughs> sorry, I can write disposable income as YD and YD is Y minus T. <coughs> this T aspect that we have, this is my lump sum tax or it can be proportional tax. So this can either be T can be T bar, then it will be a lump sum tax. Or T can be some proportion of income. It can be a proportionate tax. <coughs> so, so how do we write it usually? So usually speaking, we are going to write something like this, that consumption is a function of disposable income. Now, this function, function hai na, this function can be represented by small c also. So then we say function is a uh, function becomes small c and disposable income part, hai na, that is nothing but income minus taxes. So that is written here. This is income minus taxes. Is this clear? So we get consumption is a function of disposable income. Now, after the period of, so it's some more space for explanation. So after the period of world war, what happened is that this, this started changing, this concept started changing. And you know that initially we had classical economists and later we moved into a period of uh, the Keynesian economist. Right? So when we moved from the classicals to the Keynesians, the way that different things were interpreted changed. Jaise hum sochte the consumption kaisa dikhega, investment kaisi hoti hai, uh, kya government ka kitna role hai, market kaise function karti hai. Ye sara ka sara thought process jo tha, wo pura thought process hi change ho gaya. It started changing, right? So what happened is we moved, let me just write this down. So we moved from classicals to Keynesians or to Keynes, not to Keynesian theory. So when we moved from classical to Keynesian theory, Keynes, he did a big breakthrough in macroeconomics in 1936. Keynes realized that this is not the classicals role of government. He talks about long run, he can't actually achieve it. Keynes mentioned that long, in the long run, everyone is dead. Long run concept, ki baat mat karo. short run concept. Ki baat karo. Hai. So Keynes did a major breakthrough in 1936. And in that, he actually, he analyzed, uh, you know, consumption again. And that is when he, when he realized that income or consumer ka, consumer ki consumption ka ek bohat alag relationship. Hai. There is a very different relationship between income and consumption. 
So he actually went ahead and he gave a relation like this. C is equal to C bar plus small c y d. एक ऐसा relationship Keynes ने actually आकर दिया. So बेटा, what happened in this relationship? What is this relationship all about? So in this relationship, he said that C bar it stands for autonomous consumption. So what will be autonomous consumption? So if I put the disposable income as zero, अगर मैं यहाँ पर zero replace कर दूँ, then I will get C is equal to C bar. तो वो देखो, even if I don't earn anything, I need to feed myself. ना ऐसा तो नहीं होगा कि मैं भूखी रहूँगी. I need to eat something. So when my income is zero, the consumption that I will do at that point, जितनी मैं तब consumption करूँगी, that will be called as my autonomous consumption. So that's the first aspect. Then what he mentioned, he mentioned that look. If I find out dc by dy d, if I just differentiate this function, then I will get small c, and I will call this small c as marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume. And but how will I define this marginal propensity to consume? So, ye dekho, just try to understand what is this saying? Change in consumption. What is the saying? Change in income. So basically, this aspect is telling me how consumption will change when income changes. Hmm. How consumption will change when income changes. Later, but ah, based on this, we can also go ahead and we can also do a diagrammatic approach, huh? So what I can go ahead and do is I can make something like this. ऐसा कुछ बन सकता है. So if I just plot this, I have autonomous consumption as C bar. This is my income. This is my consumption. When my income is zero, when I am having zero income. Then my consumption is C bar. Then my consumption C bar will be. And the slope of this function, if I just find out the slope of this consumption function, so its slope it tells me how consumption changes as income changes. And this is small c. This is called as marginal propensity to consume. Is ko humne kya bola? M P C. मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम ठीक है बेटा बेटा बुक से नहीं पढ़ना है बुक से दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड क्लमजी चैप्टर वेरी वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग नो बडी विल स्टडी फ्रॉम द बुक दिस चैप्टर हाँ यू हैव टू स्टडी ओनली फ्रॉम द नोट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू ओके ये बात समझ में अच्छा देन वॉट है बेटा सपोज आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज ए पी सी What is APC? APC is average propensity to consume. हाँ बेटा. What is average propensity to consume? Average propensity to consume can be can be written as consumption by income. अच्छा tell me something. एक बात मुझे समझाओ जरा. बेटा if I go ahead And I say that c is equal to c bar plus small c y y of y d. हाँ, दोनों लिख सकते हैं. Suppose I am assuming अभी के लिए tax नहीं है. Suppose there is no tax. Suppose y d is equal to y. Suppose हाँ. And I am assuming that tax is zero. ठीक है बेटा. तो c हो गया c bar plus c y. अच्छा, if I divide this throughout. By y, I will get this. Can you tell me what is going to be this aspect? ये क्या होगा? This is nothing but my average propensity to consume, consumption by income, average consumption. बेटा, this is c bar by y plus this is small c. What is small c? कैसे explain किया हमने small c को? 
small c is nothing but c bar a uh, small c is nothing but m p c it is nothing but m p c right marginal propensity to consume to beta is concept se agar hum dekhte hain if i look via this concept so from this concept it is clear that to find apc agar mujhe average propensity to consume nikalna hai if i need to find apc i must add something in mpc mujhe mpc mein kuch add karna padega only then i will be able to find apc so mpc plus something is going to give me apc so beta can i go ahead and can i say that apc will be greater than mpc kyunki mpc mein mujhe kuch add kiya to get apc are you getting this part so beta this is called the short run relation theek hai ji in short run he found out that the average propensity to consume is going to be greater than the marginal propensity to consume apc mpc se zyada hoga that's an important aspect book mein acche se explained nahi hai you need to understand from this only okay acha one more thing see suppose it li beta let's say i will go to my notes a little later but let's say that i have consumption here and income here ha huh? and beta this is my diagram hmm? this is c is equal to c bar plus c y so beta just think about this suppose i tell you my income is 100 i go to this part and i find out that my consumption is 80 So, beta, what will be my APC? APC will be eighty divided by hundred. Eighty divided by hundred. Yehi APC hoga. Everyone agrees to it. Acha, suppose you know eighty should have been a little below because ye hundred liya na humne. Ya agar main isko, I should write this as uh, your understanding. Me ko income zada dikhani hai. Out of income only I can consume, na. So if I am showing income as eight hundred, uh, then this gap should be this. This should just represent say. This is the representation wise eighty, ठीक है. But this 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 line should be a little smaller. तो मेरे को I should be making this a little flatter. That will look better, ha. Huh? Let me just plot this like this, ha. Huh? so that when i show that my ye 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 zyada hona chahiye na beta when income is 100 then my consumption is 80 my perpendicular distance should be less than the horizontal distance income is more consumption is this anyways to beta consumption 80 ho gayi income 100 ho gayi to 80 by 100 average propensity hua so how can i show 80 by 100 i can show this by joining a line why because if you see this line is perpendicular uh is hypotenuse right so if i want to find the slope of this line slope of this line is line ka slope kya hoga perpendicular by base to perpendicular kya hai it consumption 80 base kya hai income 100 तो इस लाइन का स्लोप विल बी एपीसी सो इफ आई लॉ ड्रॉ दिस लाइन देन दिस लाइन कैन हेल्प मी कैलकुलेट एपीसी ऐसे ही व्हाट विल हैपन इज दैट एज आई इंक्रीज माय इनकम लेवल्स सपोज माय इनकम लेवल इज हियर सपोज माय इनकम इज हियर इट्स एट 200 देन अकॉर्डिंगली आई विल बी हैविंग माय कंजम्पशन हियर देन कंजम्पशन बाय इनकम शुड बी एपीसी तो बेटा आई विल हैव टू आई विल हैव टू मेक अ लाइन थ्रू दिस ऐसा कुछ फिर से अगर मैं इस लाइन पर स्लोप निकालूंगी इफ आई फाइंड आउट द स्लोप ऑफ दिस लाइन विच विल बी परपेंडिकुलर बाय बेस देन आई विल गेट एपीसी सो व्हाट आई कैन डू इज इफ आई इफ आई पास लाइन फ्रॉम 
origin to consumption curve it can help me find a b c i can find a b c from there ye baat clear ho gayi acha then what kane said is so kane said look this relationship that i have found out na that c is equal to c bar plus c y ye relationship na sirf short run relationship hai this relationship can't work in the long run long run mein i have to go ahead and i have to manipulate my relationship so in the long run what kane's went ahead and he did is he said look in the long run i will make my this is my relationship c is equal to c y yeah c y d it's a function of disposable income but the autonomous part is now gone theek hai so i will just simplify this suppose i just tell you that disposable income and income are equal suppose mai abhi get a tax equal le leti zero le leti hu this is just suppose then beta what will happen i will have i will have c is equal to c y small c into y so if i divide both side by y what will i get c by y is equal to small c but beta c by y is nothing but average propensity to consume and this is nothing but marginal propensity to consume so i get the next relationship that keynes gave that in the long run apc and mpc will become equal to each other and when will that happen beta it can only happen if my consumption curve itself it looks like this ye meri income ho gayi ye consumption ho gaya or this is my consumption curve to pehle kya kar rahe the we were passing a line through the origin to the curve to find apc but now if i pass a line through the origin to the curve तो बेटा यही लाइन का स्लोप तो एम है और इसी लाइन का स्लोप अब ए भी हो गया आई यू गेटिंग इज देर इज नो सेपरेट लाइन ये कर यहां से स्टार्ट हो रहा था तो इसका स्लोप डिफरेंट था इट्स स्लोप वॉज डिफरेंट इट्स स्लोप वॉज डिफरेंट एंड लाइन से जब निकल रहा था दैट वॉज गिविंग मी ए पी सी ए पी सी एंड एम पी सी वो डिफरेंट बट नाउ दिस कंजम्पन कर इट सेल्फ इज अ लाइन थ्रू द ओरिजिन so my apc and mpc are becoming equal to each other thoda sa samajhne ki baat hai ye ha ah, so in the long run i proved this here also no that apc and mpc they will come equal to each other long run mein ye dono ke dono jo hain they will become equal is this clear theek hai beta now let's start with the chapter ab hum thode se chapter ki taraf badhte hain so now while starting with the chapter you have to understand that there were interesting outcomes 